New details tonight after a horrific ordeal for two teenagers from Miami-Dade. Police say they saw their father shoot and kill their mother. Now he is in custody after fleeing to Georgia, and today there was a hearing to determine who would take care of the children. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the Northwest Miami-Dade home where it all happened. Peter. Erica, the bright spot in the sad story is that the mother's sister and her husband have stepped forward to help. They were awarded temporary custody today of the two children. Now, Miami-Dade police tell us this is where the father shot the mother in the chest before taking off to Georgia. A 13-year-old girl and her 11-year-old brother are brought to court at the Juvenile Justice Center one day after seeing a horrible sight. Their father's accused of killing their mother right in front of them. The mother's sister, Angela Corley, was questioned by a judge in court. Corley is a mother of 10 who has four children living with her. She and her husband were granted temporary custody after saying she's a stay-at-home mom with no criminal history. She also said the two children were close to her kids. They grew up together. I practically raised my niece and nephew with my sister. We are a very close-knit family. Miami-Dade police say 59-year-old Donald Edward Strange shot his 46-year-old wife Hazel in the chest. They say he was fighting with her at their home on Northwest 53rd Street and 30th Place Tuesday afternoon. Lucky he didn't kill the kid. He could have killed the kid, too. You know, he didn't got no respect for the kids. Detectives say the couple's 11-year-old son called 911. By the time police got to the house, they say Strange was gone, setting off a manhunt for him and his 2010 maroon-colored Honda Accord. I just hope they catch him. Armed with a warrant late Tuesday night, authorities in Georgia found Strange hiding out with relatives and arrested him. Well, at least they caught him. They caught it bittersweet. Neighbors say Strange is a county public works employee. He is now charged with second-degree murder and two counts of aggravated battery with a firearm and will be extradited from Georgia. Neighbors say his wife was a crossing guard at Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School. DCF says the agency did have a history with the couple. Now, because of what happened at their home, their children will receive grief counseling. Now, those children right there will be living with their aunt and uncle in Northwest Miami-Dade and will continue going to the same school. The aunt and uncle will also receive caregiver financial assistance from the state. There will be another hearing about this in two weeks. We're live at Northwest Miami-Dade. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you.